Cold weather shooting conditions are absolutely my favorite time to create unique photos with a lot of character. Venturing out into the freezing outdoors is a little bit less approachable than summertime though. And that's why I want to share what I pack in my camera bag to capture images in the cold. Here's a look at some essential pieces of equipment that I always pack on my cold weather shoots. These are just the basics and they're gonna vary a lot depending on the activities that I'm shooting or participating in. But hopefully you'll get a pretty good idea of what my pack looks like on most cold weather shoots. All right, so I have a uh, F-stop gear bag, the Agena, which is a 40 liter model from F-stop. And I like it because it has a compartment for all my camera stuff. And then I can put my insulation layers closer to the top, which in the winter I'm constantly layering up, layering down so I can get through to the top of the bag there really easily. So for the camera compartment, I have my main body, which is my uh, A7R 3 I have that in the center here. And then I have, I always have a bunch of extra leashes. So just Peak Design camera straps here. I like these leashes a lot because they're kind of multi-functional and that's a huge thing for me is like multi-functional gear. So I could use it just as a strap and then have my camera attached here or I can use it as a sling, throw it over my shoulder, put my head through there. And then if I am in any kind of like elevated area and I wanna drop my camera, I can attach the camera to one piece here. So there's a lot of different ways I can use this strap. So I always have at least one or two of these in my bag. Uh, and I keep that in this section here. I always pack a, uh, a GoPro with a head mount uh, fastened to it because I never know, you know, if I'm climbing or if I'm hiking or doing anything where it'd be kind of cool to get like a POV shot. I always want to have that close by, pull it out of my bag and throw it on my head. I also usually have a uh, chest strap that I can mount or give to someone else. So another one of these leashes, especially if I have two camera bodies with me, I'm always going to bring two leashes for each camera body. Uh, and that's another thing. So of course I'm, I'm filming on one of my uh, cameras right now, but I will have a backup camera body in here, which is my A7R2. So I'll have a spot for all of my SD cards, uh, a bunch of backups. Um, of course, with my 7R2 body, I'm burning batteries like crazy. So I have just a, a ton of batteries in there. I'll usually bring a spare lens. So right now I have a 35 2.8 on my Mark II, uh, but I always bring like an F4 fisheye. Uh, the F4 is kind of nice because it's so light that it's, it's sometimes it's a pain in the butt to drag a bunch of extra lenses out if you're in the back country, or if you're going for a long hike. Uh, the F4 is nice because it's so light, so I never really think about it. All right, so that's it for the main kind of like camera compartment area in there. I have my cleaning utensils in here in the back of the bag where you open it up. And I also have all my extra uh, filters. So ND filter and uh, polarizer and UV. And then the cleaning stuff, I always like to keep handy and make sure that you have this. And this is kind of really critical. So like, it's always important to have cleaning stuff handy uh, when you're on any shoot and when you're packed for any kind of photography session. But in the winter, it's especially useful because if you get snow on any of your lenses, you can really quickly, if it's dry snow, I mean, you can just, you can blow it off with the, uh, the air mover. If it's a little wet, you can kind of just dust it off uh, with this guy. So, you know, and then if you get streaks, obviously, that's, that's something that's gonna happen all the time with cold weather shooting. So if you're prepared and have that stuff and you're ready to use it for that application really quickly, um, that'll save you a lot of frustration because that's a constant thing is getting moisture and snow on the, the end of your lens. I always have an extra insulation piece and that I usually keep in the top of my bag. And I like to have a nice, thick pair of Gore-Tex gloves in there as well. And at the top, I have buffs everywhere, so I keep a buff handy. And this is, again, stuff where like, if, if the camera gets soaked, if there's any snow that falls on the camera and it's just getting wet, I can really quickly just kind of try to dry it off a bit with a buff. All right, now let's check out the top of the bag, the top of the brain. This is where I keep accessories, like a, uh, a warmer toque. Uh, I have a merino wool buff, so it's a little warmer than my other buff. And I always have, I always have headlamps at the top as well. Um, they always turn themselves on. So that's kind of where I keep like any extra accessories, especially like any other activities that I'm doing that I wouldn't, you know, 
Um, this is where I would put extra stuff, like if I need extra mitts, if I need like maybe Gore-Tex socks, if I need like anything that's additional um, and specific to the activity that I might be doing. So if it's snowshoeing, um, if it's, you know, whatever it may be, then that's kind of where I could have a variety of options for different accessories. So that's the top top. I can also access the main compartment through here. So this is where I would have my insulation piece that I can also access from the back here, but I can get it from the top as well. But I keep a bunch of extra stuff here at the bottom of the top of the brain. So here I just have like a couple of uh, first aid supplies. So I've got like my IFAC. Um, I have a couple of just random utensils that I might need for the camera. I have another uh, headlamp. You can't have too many headlamps in your with your gear, I've got an emergency blanket. So just a couple of kind of contingency items in there as well. Just random loose stuff, like extra GoPro batteries. Stuff that I probably won't use very often, but if I need it, at least I have it. And it's kind of tucked away all in here with the rest of the loose stuff. So that's it for like the top and main compartment. There's a couple of pockets on the side that I always take advantage of, especially in the winter as well. And this is another important thing to have in the winter for cold weather shooting is it's not just enough to have like a water bottle. You need like a double walled insulated uh, thermos or something because otherwise your water's just gonna freeze and once you're thirsty, uh, it's gonna be ice. So, you know, a couple of protein bars, snacks, things like that. I'll keep that in the side there. And in the front, I always have a Gore-Tex layer. So, you know, this is like a safety piece. If it ever gets really cold and wet, uh, I always have another additional jacket and layer that I can throw on and something that's heavy duty and gonna, you know, serve me well if the, the temperature drops a lot really quickly. All right, in the other side pocket, I have another insulation piece and uh, you can tell there's kind of a reoccurring theme with uh, insulation and being sufficiently bundled up. And that is definitely the most important uh, thing when it comes to cold weather shooting. If you're gonna be outside, I mean, you gotta make sure that you're warm uh, and you need a pack that's big enough to carry all that extra insulation. And that's just gonna be the difference between being able to stay long enough and enjoy yourself and actually have fun and get those shots uh, or just turn back because you're miserable, cold and wet. So try to do everything you can to avoid that. And that starts with just being prepared and making sure that you have an abundance. Try to always have more than you think that you need for insulation and uh, you'll be ahead of the game. All right, last couple of pieces that I have kind of on the bag, especially like cold weather considerations. Um, I always have this peak design clip on the shoulder and that's kind of like a universal all season thing, but I find it really beneficial in the winter because like it sucks getting, you know, opening up zippers and going in and out of your bag. So it's nice to just kind of clip it, your camera onto your shoulder and not have to worry about taking your gloves off and doing a bunch of finicky things just to get at your camera. You can just kind of set it and forget it. So I always, I like that. That's like an extra consideration, especially for winter. And then just like a clip here as well where I find that I'll be putting my bag down quite a bit um, in the winter and it's nice to be able to clip on to somewhere whether you have, uh, if you set up like a quick rope onto something or if you're, you have to be careful that if you're next to a river, anything like that, you're not gonna lose your bag. So this is just a really handy quick way where I can secure it to something and I can just set something up real quick. And basically what I usually do is just put it on uh, the top loop of the bag here and then clip this into uh, wherever I'm clipping into and then just lock it. So I always have this close by so I can just kind of put my bag somewhere when I'm working and then keep it safe and not worry about it like getting lost in like a crevasse or getting lost down a river if like ice breaks or just anything. You just don't want to lose obviously all your belongings. So yeah, I hope that helps. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing, the biggest takeaway is just bring tons of warm weather clothing, bring tons of insulation, bring those accessories with you, pack extra buffs in the winter, uh, make sure that you have a, a therm, um, Make sure you have an insulated bottle that your water's not gonna freeze that when uh, you go to drink it, you're not drinking ice. All right, hopefully that helps. I think the most important thing is just to make sure that you have all your gear with you, that you're warm for the winter and take advantage. It's a beautiful time of the year to shoot and have a lot of fun.